While Child is still in the northern Bahamas province of the Abacos, she's safely anchored in the protection of Marsh Harbor. I'm on the boat alone, sort of licking my wounds, but like a caterpillar emerging from a cocoon, I find I'm starting to heal. I'm returning to being me again. And I'm going to go do laundry. The friends that I made on the bad day said that they found a place nearby locally to be able to do laundry here in Marsh Harbor. So I've decided that I'm going to wash all the bedding on the boat, all the sheets, all the blankets, all the pillows, and sort of just make everything clean and start fresh again. What I've learned is that it's $10 a load to do laundry, so it's really expensive here. Um, There's a marina here in Marsh Harbor that for $10 you can do a load of laundry and they will allow non-marina guests to use the laundry facilities. So I mean $10 for a load of laundry is kind of a lot, but I had to do the bedding and stuff. Elena's coming soon and I wanted to make sure that she had nice clean bedding and I made everything nice for when she comes. I'm not sure if I'm going to work on YouTube videos today or maybe just go to shore, walk around and make friends. but. Whatever, we'll see. And ta-da! A freshly made, freshly cleaned, all fresh sheets, bed for the new crew, Elena. Day after day, as the tyranny of hurt slips into my past, Slowly the beauty of the Bahamas drips into my soul, filling the well of tears with a well of peace. I'm starting to heal, and I needed this. a lot of time alone to think. I never, never, never agree to be alone on the sailboat, but what I want is no longer relevant. But you know what? Maybe this isn't so bad after all. Catching the sunsets alone from the deck of Wild Child starts to become one of my favorite things to do. Slowly, I am healing. Good morning guys. It's Saturday, March 30th, I think, and uh, I'm still alone on the boat, enjoying my morning chocolate milk and watching TV. Elena is, Elena is supposed to be coming April 4th. I'll go get her from the airport and we'll have a, our own adventure. 
Each day that I spend on the boat, I get calmer and calmer, like my fears about, oh my god, I'm alone, sort of settle down. I've been working like mad to make YouTube videos for you guys, so episode 50, I just finished, I'm encoding episode 51 right now. And I'll probably make a bunch more to try to catch up the videos to like real time. It takes a lot of work. It, I can knock out a video on about an 8 or 10 hour day. But still, I mean, it takes a long time to make them. As I sit here and I'm calm and I sort of think more, my internal adventurous spirit starts to come to life and, and my, my courage kind of gets a little stronger every day, like, oh, maybe I really can do this. I am starting to lean in favor of let's go south out of the hurricane zone rather than jump to Florida and put the boat up on the hard which would be like the safest bet and the fastest ejection for me. I think like if Alina works out and she's good crew and we get along and she learns and the two of us can handle the boat together, maybe we're going to go down to like Panama or Belize or, or Colombia or whatever to get out of the hurricane zone. If we do that, that means that Alina has to learn to sail very quickly. I really, we really have to get to work like training her and then we got to start to go in the next few weeks. I mean, I've done 5,000 miles to get here, so it's only a thousand miles down and it's all, the Caribbean is just basically always easy, great weather. Yeah, the, <clears throat> going south might be a lot into the wind, but again, Wild Child doesn't mind. She'll point straight into the wind and go. So maybe, hopefully the boat still sells, but maybe I'm gonna extend the adventure a little longer. Like maybe I have the courage to face this. I've been watching a video of some of the stuff that we've been through and I've done amazing so far and I'm a really good captain. Like I, if I had some confidence, I would realize like I do have the skills and ability to do this. Just have to have like the courage and the self-esteem and the self-confidence to be able to do it without a man to help me. So I just climbed the mast again. I had friends come, friends that I met from another boat came and they volunteered to help me put me up the mast. That brand new B&G winds instrument you guys saw me putting up a week ago before Michelle left, brand new wind, wind transducer, didn't show up on the bus, didn't register, doesn't work. It's why B&G stuff sucks. So what I ended up having to do is to repair the old wind instrument and change out the uh, the shaft for the for the wind speed cups. And Michelle's gone, and I'm alone on the boat. And one thing you definitely cannot do alone is winch yourself up the mast. So my friends came to help me do that. And the good news is the new wind instrument works. Yay! Bye, Lexi. Bye, guys. The next day I decided to go into town, see about provisioning, and maybe finding somebody to talk to. So I never thought I'd be one of those morons with a selfie stick talking to herself for a camera. But given that I am now alone and I don't have an adventure partner, we cannot film each other. And I realized in the earlier videos, I did all footage from my point of view looking out, but then I never showed you guys me, like, because I was shy and self-conscious and didn't want to be on camera. But it does make for better video if you can see the person talking to you. The goal for today is Kentucky Fried Chicken and Aspirin. So I'm going for a little walk on shore. KFC chicken. So the Bahamas being British, they don't call it a pharmacy, they call it a chemist shop. So I've just come from the chemist shop, the most expensive one I've ever seen in my entire life, but that's the Bahamas for you. Oh no, no, go ahead.
So mission accomplished. I have chicken, shampoo, conditioner, and aspirin. So now I'm going to go alone back to the boat. So I've been thinking about this. I have a problem with charging the windless battery. Those 50 watt semi-flexible solar panels don't seem to be charging anymore and I need the windless now that I'm alone. So I need to replace the solar panels and I was trying to find a way to get them shipped in from the US or Canada. But then my friend said to me, well maybe they actually sell solar panels here somewhere in Marsh Harbor. So there's a big hardware store here that I'll come back to on Monday and maybe they sell solar panels or maybe they'll know where I can buy them. If I can get them locally, it'll save me from waiting a month to get them in. The Union Jack dock in Marsh Harbor has a free dinghy dock for us cruisers so we can get access to town. And so I dinghied alone out to Wild Child with my chicken feast to sit by myself, relax in the peace and solitude, have dinner, and watch the sunset. So with the dinghy secured to the back of the boat, I've arrived back at Wild Child with KFC for dinner. And I sat peacefully alone and celebrated the sunset again.